Halloween is where children dress up like the Avengers and rob adults of their candy. I'm no longer the age where I can trick or treat anymore because I'm in my 20s now. It's kind of unfortunate because Halloween is the one day I put effort into dressing up as something else, but I'm no longer the age where it's socially acceptable to dress up and go door to door asking for candy as an adult. <laughs> The other ways you can dress up and show it off is to post yourself in the costume online or go to like Halloween parties, which I don't go to. It's not a college Halloween party or a group of friends hosting a Halloween party because I got none of those. But instead, it's hosted by one of my older brothers. It's kind of funny because when my brothers start to host these Halloween parties, you can tell no one at first put in efforts into their costumes until years later when we established putting more effort into our costume. One year, me and my friend decided to show up with blow up dinosaur costumes. We went to the Halloween store that only opens around the fall season and Halloween. And that's where we got our costume. My friend got the t Rex costume and I got the pterodactyl costume which meant we didn't have to put much effort into our costume but at the same time it makes us look like we put a ton of time into our costume. Once we got to the house almost no one had their Halloween costumes on and that's when I knew I won the Halloween costume competition that I just made up in that moment. Me and my friend wore our costumes, proudly showing it off and how cool we are. Man, I was so happy and I knew no one at my brother's Halloween party will be able to compete with us. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Unbelievable. I showed up at this party ready to impress everyone, but here they are with their blow up costumes that are better than ours. Even in high school years, you can't really trick or treat. In freshman or sophomore year of high school, me and a couple friends went door to door trick or treating in our neighborhood. We went to house to house and even as freshmen or sophomore, I can't really remember which year it was. Some adults made some comments about us being too old to be trick or treating. Like, dang, I'm too old for trick or treating anymore? Anyways, one of the highlights of the night was there's a group of people hanging out in their driveway. And since I was the only one in costume, I got extra candy. Suck it, losers. After that year of Halloween, I didn't celebrate Halloween anymore. Decided to just stay in style and play video games. That comment of being too old to trick or treat struck deep into my gentle heart. I was alone at this time and I remember I was waiting in a Call of Duty lobby waiting for a game to start when all of a sudden I hear a kid's voice. Hello? Can anybody hear me? I freaked out because it was so sudden and it couldn't be a trick or treat because there was no knock at the door or any footsteps from outside. I hear the child's voice again. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh heck no, I know a child spirit is really not going to try to talk to me on Halloween night. I looked outside the door, inside the closet, and even around the kitchen, and I saw no one. I sat back down on my chair, and I hear her again, but wait. This time is coming from the TV. I inspected closer and heard, Hello? Can y'all hear me? And that's when I knew that this kid in this Call of Duty lobby had his mic on and was trying to communicate to others in the lobby to see if his stupid mic was working. I thought it was some ghost, but it was some kid with a mic in a Call of Duty lobby. I plan on celebrating Halloween more often because it's just an excuse for me to dress up and hang out with others. And so I hope the years coming forward I have good costumes and not lame ones like <laughs> a blow up costume. But I thought that year was pretty awesome. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it.